What's up, everybody? This is the Chicago Sports Talk. Michael back at it again with another Chicago Bears video. Monday is not really the official date of free agency, but the legal and tampering periods is starting right now-ish. Monday, you'll be seeing a lot of trades, a lot of signings, most likely. So I just want to talk about something that Adam Schefter reported, and apparently it's come to my attention that people are saying Justin Fields' trade value is very low. So before we begin, Adam Schefter was on his show and basically said that there are some people in the Bears front office that want to keep Justin Fields. I believe one of those people are Matt Eberfuss, by the way. So when Adam Schefter reported this, I basically told myself is, if you're Ryan Poles, do you really think Caleb Williams is going to make people happy that you're moving on from Justin Fields because majority of the people that work for you want Justin Fields to stay. Let's dive justice for just a moment, folks. So I do believe that there are people in within the organization that want Justin Fields to stay. DJ Moore, Jalen Johnson, uh, Tremaine Edmonds, Demarcus Walker, Montez Sweat, Kevin Warren, Matt Eberflus, all basically want Justin Fields to be the starting quarterback next year. And people want to say, well, what there's what are they supposed to say? They're individuals of the t certain individual team that he's currently on, and they'll be happy if um it wh whatever quarterback comes in, they'll welcome them with open arms. Not necessarily because. If they get a new quarterback, that that being Caleb Williams, their Caleb Williams is going to have to earn the respect of the locker room because this whole locker room will be divided if you take Caleb Williams with number one pick. Now, it's come to my attention that people think that the trade market up for Justin Fields is very low right now, which I've been telling people this for a long time. That the most you're going to get out of Justin Fields is a third, and at best, you get a second round pick for Justin Fields. You're not going to get anything more or less. I, I hate when people like say that, oh, we're going to get the 20th overall pick from the Pittsburgh Steelers for Justin Fields. Oh, we're going to take Cale Williams and train with the New England Patriots and take Marvin Harrison Jr. at number three. Like, bro, it's not going to happen. The market for Fields is low. They're obviously and, – and, and, and I'm hearing people of the Justin Fields haters fans club saying, you know what? Let's, they're just going to wind up cutting him at this point. And I'm like, you really think the Bears are going to cut Justin Fields? Are just going to say, are just going to cut him dead weight because they don't want him anymore? You really think that the cutting periods are, well, the cutting periods are not technically over, but you get the point. But you really think, and plus Ryan Poles is not calling people for Justin Fields. Justin Fields has not even been reported that the Bears were shopping for a, for a while. So if they were going to get rid of Justin Fields, why has there not been a report of the Chicago Bears shopping Justin Fields? That's my understanding. And the Bears currently at this time have five picks entering in the NFL draft. And let me tell you something, you're going to get more leverage out of that number one overall pick to trade down and acquire future draft assets than trading Justin Fields. And maybe at best you get a second round pick at the minimum, you're getting a third round pick. So people, you really think we're, we're going to say Caleb Williams and take Roma, Roma doomsday will be taken by the time we get to nine, he'll be taken by the Giants, the, well, uh, the Chargers, uh, 
the Titans, all those teams that I just told you, also the Falcons, they need a receiver. I will not be surprised in the in the steel in the Giants. They'll they're they're gonna try to trade up to get the, to get a quarterback. So let me let me uh tell you something. Has any reporter gotten something right on the Chicago Bears ever? They're thinking that we're gonna keep the pick and take Caleb Williams with the number one overall pick. Which this this is y'all are seriously stupid about Ryan Poles. Like people think Ryan Poles, they they know Ryan Poles better than I do. It's saying that, well, uh, if Ryan Poles cares about saving his job, and he doesn't want to get fired, he's going to take Caleb Williams and have more leverage and reset the quarterback clock and draft his guy. Ryan Poles has said of said to himself. If he makes a decision on trading the number one overall pick and keeping Justin Fields, he is not afraid of the consequences that will happen to him. And I will not, I do not believe Ryan Poles will get fired. People want to say, I want to make it a big deal. Oh, Ryan Poles is definitely going to get fired if he sticks with Justin Fields and they suck for another year because of the simple fact that (laughs) Ryan Poles has already done a lot for the Chicago Bears, one of the biggest ones fleecing the Carolina Panthers. He has a chance to do it again with another franchise, but the likelihood of getting a player is significantly lower. Ryan Poles is playing is playing chess with this these teams. He is trying to squeeze the most out of the Commanders, the Giants, and maybe the Falcons if they want to trade up from 8 to uh, 1. So don't take it from me. Take it from uh, what Ryan Poles has done with the Bears over the past years. The media has speculated that we were going to take Bryce Young. The media has speculated that we were going to take Jalen Carter. The the Adam, including Adam Schefter were predicting that we were going to trade Tevin Jenkins before the start of the 2022 season, and then ended up did not happening. So nobody has been right about the Bears at all since Ryan Poles has took over. It has been a bunch of speculations and what if scenarios and beliefs. And, pl- and for the record, Adam Schefter said that he believes that they're going to keep the number one overall pick and take Caleb Williams. He is not saying that. Oh, I be- I def- uh, it's a hundred percent guaranteed they're locked in with the number one overall pick. Mostly every article that you see right now that has to do with the Chicago Bears and the number one overall pick is clickbait. Very rare that you that you will see a. Sh- a, a guy that knows what he's talking about. And but I do believe the Bears will definitely trade the number one overall pick. I think it's the best decision for the franchise. And people want to make it, oh, it's Caleb Williams versus Justin Fields. No, it's Caleb Williams versus three first-round picks. So if Ryan – and plus from – and when I ran in my comment section, Ryan Poles has requested to interview Caleb Williams and view his medicals. And apparently Caleb during after the combine, which Caleb Williams did decline. So that tells me that tells me Chicago may not have any interest left in Caleb Williams. as People want to make it to believe because Ryan Poles says it's not always about the player. It's about the character because it was if it was if it wasn't about the character, the Bears would have taken Jalen Carter with the ninth overall pick. So, anyways, that's it. That's all for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this, you know, situation that we're gonna get. Like I said, when it, I just can't wait for this thing to be over so I can I can get the news of whether or not if Justin gets traded. I'm just like, you know what, I'm going where he goes. So. And, or the Bears keep the number one wall pick. He stays, and guess what? I'm going to clown y'all for internal in the offseason. So, anyways, that's it. That's all. This is Hit the subscribe button, as always. Thanks for watching.